Welcome to OFSEC. We'll start our walkthrough here in the OFSEC Learning Library. You'll see that there are a couple of ways to find content relevant for you and your teams. For folks looking to complete a course and certification, you can do that via the course dropdown. If you know a specific skill that you'd like to improve upon, we suggest starting with our learning paths. And lastly, because we know that cybersecurity training isn't just about the theoretical learning, but is best when augmented with hands-on experiences, we have labs. Based on your subscription, you'll have access to one or all of these labs. Filter by skills or roles based on your goals. We've built learning paths for specific roles like network penetration tester. Let's check out our training on PowerShell Empire. Hover over the card and quickly see the most important information for each topic. Things like the skill, the level, operating systems that are referenced, job roles, and techniques. As a learner, it's easy to see how you're progressing through different learning paths or courses. You can check the end date and your general progress on both text, exercises, videos, and labs. The course syllabus and videos are included in the training materials, and you can review each topic within the syllabus. We also understand that not every learner is the same, so you'll see varied material from videos to text-based to hands-on exercises. Practice and challenge labs are a great way to test your skills and it's easy to schedule your exam whenever you're ready. Help is always available via the resources drop down here. As you can see, it's easy to navigate to find the content relevant to any learner, no matter where they are in their learning journey. And we're constantly releasing new content, which you'll see on the portal at login. So if you have curious continuous learners, they'll always be satiated. For managers, you might spend more time in the management section of OFSEC. You can manage all parts of your subscription, including team member invites, licenses, and even grouping learners. You can review your group's or team's progress by clicking on reports and review via learning path, course, or lab. So that's a quick uh, overview of the Offset Learning Library. Now I'm going to pass it over to Owen to walk through the Offset Cyber Range. Hello everybody, my name is Owen and I'm the Senior Manager for the Labs Team in Offensive Security. My team are responsible for creating all the vulnerable machines that are used by students uh, throughout our platform. We're going to be talking about the Offset Cyber Range today. Uh, and how to, what it is and how to access it. So the OFSEC Cyber Range, or OCR for short, is a large collection of vulnerable machines uh, and networks that are used by students to sharpen their skills on. Accessing this network is as, simply as, as simple as clicking on the Labs button down here and clicking on OCR Red. Once, once it's finished loading, will be presented with all the vulnerable machines that we have available for students to use. We also have the machines categorized. As we can see here, we have Active Directory machines, man-in-the-middle attacks, phishing attacks, supply chain attacks, web application attacks. And we also have two unique categories over here, the CVE category and the XDA category. So what are these categories? The, uh, the CVE category is a list of all the CVE machines that have come out this year and you know into 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 last last year and these would be cv machines or cv categories where it affects thousands of systems online so it's not low, low level cv categories or cv machines rather it is you know cves that are worthwhile for attention it's things that 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 penetration testers would experience or come across uh, in most production environments and then we also have the XDA categories. Now the XDA category, in a nutshell, what it is, is it is where you will find the latest and greatest vulnerabilities uh, that affect millions of systems online. Now, if, a, if one of these exploits gets released on a Monday, for example, I would want 
that exploit or a copy of that exploit to be available for students to use by learn later than Wednesday, Thursday of the same week. That way, you and your team will get a platform where you can access and experiment with these vulnerabilities. All right. The Offsec Cyber Range is VPN based. Once a student has logged into the Offsec Cyber or into the Offsec portal, they simply need to go and click on the VPN button and download the VPN pack. This VPN pack can then be copied to whatever machine they need. So they can copy it to their Kali Linux machine, they can copy it to a Windows machine or to a Mac OS machine, whatever the student uh, prefers to use or what you use in your production environments. I've already gone ahead and copied my VPN pack to my Kali machine and I've connected to the VPN. Once we connected to the VPN, we are able to start booting up machines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Active Directory category over here, folks. And then I am going to boot up the Poseidon chain. So one thing to note here before I boot up this chain, all the machines listed in this Active Directory category are unique. These are unique networks and all of them have got unique exploits in them. We don't reuse exploits. So while this machine boots up, or while this chain of machine boots up, we'll be presented with mission objectives. And this is one of the things that sets OCR apart. The Offsec Cyber Range is not a CTF framework. Yes, students will need to submit flags, but the bigger purpose of the Offsec Cyber Range is continuous learning. We want students to achieve success here. So we're not hiding away information behind a point scoring system or similar. The mission objectives are not a walkthrough, but they are a detailed guideline on how users will be able to achieve success in this environment. As we can see here, we have three machines in the specific exploit chain. We have the Yorza machine, we have DC02, and we have DC01. And we take the user through what they'll need to achieve success in Yorza. And we'll take them through what they need to do to achieve success in DC02 without giving away too many hints or spoilers. Um, there's still a fair amount of work that the students will need to do by themselves to achieve success. But utilizing the mission objectives puts them on the right path to a, a, a successful experience. We also provide them with a list of essential tools that they need for this chain of machines. Now, these, tool, these tools are not a, again, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a guideline. It's not set in stone. We're merely listing them here so that students know this is what OSEC used in order to achieve success. And we also provide them with a list of additional learning materials. So if there's something in this chain that they want to learn more about and it's not available in the OSEC platform, then they can follow this. They can simply follow the links that we list below. The three chain, the three machine chain has booted up. As we can see here, the countdown timer has expired. And so we are now effectively ready to go and start attacking this chain. Another thing that we need to note of before we can start attacking is the IP address ranges for this chain. And as we can see, we have 10.230.61.57 as our IP address range. It's important to note that each student gets their own instance of this Poseidon chain or any other machine on this uh -huh. in the offset cyber range. Uh, none, nothing is shared. Students will not step on each other's toes. Multiple students can boot up the same chain at the same time, but they each get their own instance of the chain. So we have an IP address, we have a chain of vulnerable machines, and we are connected to the offset VPN. So we can now go ahead and we can start attacking our machines. What I'm going to do as a quick demonstration here, so I'm just quickly going to run an in-map scan across the entire subnet that we've got provided at 10.30.61 subnet. I'm going to initiate that. This normally takes a second or two to complete, but it's an extremely fast network. And so scanning the entire subnet should not take us longer than 20 seconds at a max. Once that's done, the NMAP, once the MAP scan is done, we'll be well on our way to start achieving success on this on this network. If students need 
to go back to the mission objectives, it's simply a case of clicking back on the portal page, clicking on the information icon over here, and it will bring up the mission objectives again. So that reference page is always available to the users and they can access it at any time. Walkthroughs for these machines are also available, but they are controlled by the administrator of, uh, of the client, meaning you as the team lead or as the administrator, you would be able to decide who in your team gets access to the walkthroughs and who don't. This works out great in, in scenarios where you might want to do a skills assessment on a potential new teammate that wants to join your team. Or if you want to point your team into a direction where you can find out where their weak points are, you'll be able to see that this user was able to fly through the web application attacks without using any walkthroughs. But they had some problems with the Active Directory networks and vice versa. If you have a user that, that's you know very good on the Active Directory attacks, but not that good on the web application attacks, you as the administrator or the team lead will be, will be presented with that information and you will be able then to decide where, where to send them for, for additional training at OFSEC. Do we send them for more web application attack training? Do we send them for more Active Directory attack training? as an example. As we can see here, back on the attacking window, our scan completed in 45 seconds. Uh, we went through the entire subnet. We found three vulnerable machines as expected. And we've got a list of, we now have our target list and we are ready to attack.